can you remove sludge in your team? I'm Greg Schinkel, president of Unique Training and Development and Frontline Leadership Systems. And today I want to talk about sludge, but not like sludges and bad people on your team, but sludge that slows your team down and prevents them from driving the results that you need them to create. Inevitably, most organizations have an element of sludge. These are the processes and procedures that bog people down, kind of like trying to walk through quicksand. It becomes very difficult to generate the results. It's like telling your team to tie a hand behind their back and still be as productive with their one good hand that's left to use. So how do you as the leader help be the sludge remover? How do you make things smoother and easier for your team to perform their tasks? So the first thing, of course, is find out what is frustrating your team. What are the things that are making them have to go slower and cause problems in delivering the results that you want? And once you know what frustrates them, go to bat for your team. That's number two is go to bat for your team. And that means going to other departments to get the resources that are needed, get the answers that are needed, get the equipment that's needed and the materials so that your team can perform to their full capability. So once you've found out what frustrates them and you go to bat for your team, the next thing is to celebrate and acknowledge the progress that your team is making. And that means as you kind of de-sludge and make things go a little better, make sure your team understands kind of the progress that you're being, that you're doing for them, not to make yourself feel more important, but just to make sure that your team sees the kinds of positive changes that are coming forward. When you make your department less sludgy, less difficult to generate the results, you're making your team's job really easier. It's easier for them to win the day. And of course, that makes them feel good and it makes you look good as their frontline leader. Now, once you've figured out that de-sludging your team is one of the positive things you can do as a frontline leader, I'm going to suggest that you work on some of your other leadership attributes. And you can do that by accessing a lot of the resources that we have on our website or by having us into deliver training, whether it's through our virtual training studio or in-person workshops. All of it begins with a conversation that you can have on our website at uniquedevelopment.com. And of course, you can also connect with us on all the different social media channels. This Leader Feeder is available as a podcast. It's also available as a video or it's available as a written text document. And you can, if you don't already subscribe, you can do that through the podcast, through the YouTube channel, or you can also just subscribe on our website and we'll send you an email so you never miss an episode of Leader Feeder. Now, no matter what it takes to help you on your leadership journey, we want to be your partner in performance.